The Tables feature in Excel is new in the more recent versions of Excel. It has a lot of nice features and it is critical if you're going to use Power Pivot. So just to explain it, I've got a block of data. I'm going to highlight the entire block. And you'll see under Insert, there's an option here called Table. When I click on Table, it checks if we're happy with the range. We confirm whether we have headers in our table. And when we say OK, the following appears. So you'll see that at the moment it just it looks a bit nicer. But there's a whole bunch of interesting and new things that are available to you. The key thing to understand is that this is critical for Power Pivot use. And the one feature that you must, must um, change immediately is you must give the table a reasonable name. So by default it said table 2. I'm going to call it, for example, leave register. That is useful for Power Pivot use, but let's just look at what the tables do anyway. So a couple of things about tables. Firstly, the table knows that this block of data belongs together. And what's very useful is if someone comes and adds another entry here, as you click enter, notice that it's been included in the table. So the table has actually dropped down. So for example, if I put a 10 there, I've got that number. Let's quickly show you why this is useful. So I'm going to create a graph quickly. So based on employee name and the total days, I'm going to say insert. We'll put a chart like that. So there's our chart. You can see I specified exactly where it must go. But let's add another item here and just watch, watch what happens to the chart. So I'll add another one. And then we'll make it a very big number here, let's say 100. And notice that the chart immediately updated itself for the extra line. So this is one of the main features of tables, is that it will adjust itself and know if more items have been added. And anything attached to it, charts, pivot tables, etc., will update itself. There are a whole bunch of other things you can do with a table. So if you go to the Design tab, you'll see you can resize the table, you can immediately summarize with the pivot table, do some removing duplicates. If you want the table to go away, you can click on convert to range, you can insert slices, you'll see you can export to various items, refresh it if it's linked, and you'll see there's a whole bunch of different styles if you're not happy with the, the look and feel. Just one thing to be aware of with tables is if you're outside of a table, for example, I'm here, and what I'm going to do is just add these two together. When I say equals, and I click, notice that it no longer references F2. It actually references, references the name. So it says total days including weekend and public holidays. So I'm going to say minus that one there, for example. When I click enter, two things happen. Firstly, this is now included in the table. Secondly, notice I did one formula, just copied all the way down. The assumption is that whatever you did here, you want to be in the whole table. And you'll see it copies all the way down. It's now included in the table. And if we wanted to, we would now include it in any pivot table. 